Hi. Uh, welcome to the Infinite Human Talk Show. And I'm at the uh, Feel the Love Spirit Expo. And um, it's been a wonderful weekend. Kiki's here, squirming around as usual. And I've had a wonderful time. She got a reading with Gina Billings, who is fabulous. In fact, we're going to have an interview with her in just a few minutes. And I've been here doing tarot readings. And I also did a talk about uh, becoming an infinite human. And that was uh, really nice. And um, I've really enjoyed all the people that I've met here. So um, it's just been a really wonderful, intimate uh, expo with meeting some really great down-to-earth people and having some really fantastic vendors that uh, have been really very nice and also down to earth so it's nice to meet people who are spiritually oriented but also very down to earth so uh kiki do you have anything else to add about that hmm? now kiki's you know 12 weeks old and all she wants to do is bite things so anyway um thanks to everyone who did came out, come out and get readings and i really appreciated it, it was gave me um warm heart feel the love to uh, be able to help um, those of you um, it, it was really nice it really felt good and I felt like I touched a lot of people and a lot of people touched me um, it was really a very special feeling and um, I, I guess I don't really have that much more to say it I'll I'd probably will give a talk later on about the tarot the history of it and the meanings of the cards but once again the tarot was uh, always amazes me to work with it and I also did a lot of work with purpose that uh, I think really helped a lot of people who were floundering about certain transitions in their lives where their careers uh, were shifting and they really felt that they wanted to make some changes but were afraid to or unsure or uncertain about what to do and I think that kind of opened up a new door for them and got some creative juices flowing so that was a great idea so um, once again here I am Elizabeth Monroy of the Infinite Human Talk Show reporting to you live from Feel the Love Expo in Madison, Indiana. Bye. Kiki says bye. You have anything to say, Kiki? Oh, really? Oh, yes. That's amazing. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Oh, she's biting the microphone. Of course. Hello, welcome to the Infinite Human Show once again, and we are here at the Feel the Love Expo, and I am talking to animal communicator, yes. Gina Billings, and we are here at her booth at the Expo, and um, oh, I'm going to ask her to tell us just briefly a little bit what she does, and she's with Kiki, so um, she's done wonderful things with her, but uh, first I'll let her tell you in general what she does. Hello. No, Kiki, don't <laughs> eat the microphone here. Kiki's all excited to be on camera. Um, I have Perfect talked, uh, yes, exactly. I have talked with animals since I was two years old. That's my first conscious memory of it, yes. And so what I do is I, I have consultations with clients all over the world, over the phone right now with photographs, and, and um, I also do crystal healing. I am a Reiki master, and most of my focus these days is on, are, is on animals. I do work with people with the Reiki and the crystal healing, but most of my focus is on animals. I especially like to work with those that have been traumatized or abused with rescues. I work a lot with rescues, and I do soul retrievals also for animals. Yes. Interesting. Um, now, do you also do... Um crystal work and Ricky with animals? Yes, I do. Um, I, animals love crystals. 
and Kiki loves the microphone. <laughs> animals love crystals. The thing I have to watch with working with animals and crystals is that they don't try to eat the crystals because they are so attracted to the energy of crystals. And they work really well, especially um, I find I use rose quartz a lot, the stone of unconditional love with animals. They just respond so well to it, as I said, especially the, those that have been traumatized. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's kind of what they do. They are unconditional love, usually, aren't they, if they're not traumatized? They are. And, and I think that's why that we're, as humans, we're so drawn to them, because we don't have to do anything. We can have a bad hair day. We can be rich, poor. We can live in our car. They don't care. They love us. They love us. They don't need a reason to love us. Yeah. Uh, and who's the, um, the the other gal that's over here that uh, works with you sometimes? Yes, that's Letha Cup, and we collaborate. We do with animals. We do canine massage together, and then with humans, we also do um, Reiki crystal healing. Mm -hmm. And when I do Reiki session with a human, I uh, I also work with shamanism, and so power animals come to me and give messages to the person who's getting the treatment. So, yes. Well, I know I looked over the other day and she said, is it okay if I, I balance her chakras? Yes. And she was working with her in the pendulum and I came over and, and I was, she was showing me how to massage. Yes, Kiki, we hear you. you Want to say something? Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, and then um, all of a sudden um, uh, some um, stone comes out of Kiki's mouth. Yes. Yeah, yes. so th that is a problem, I guess. Yeah. It is, and I actually have a friend of mine that makes what she calls stone pillow flaps so that I can tuck the crystals in and the animals can't get to them so, oh, yes it was a it was a lifesaver actually for me yeah. but yes we do uh, chakra balancing and chakra work with crystals okay. yes uh, so tell me just a little bit about some of the things that you have come across when you work with um, pets you know that have helped the the uh, owners with their with their dog situations if you can or stories okay. Okay, well, a lot of times, and, and people don't realize that once their animals transition, cross over, cross the rainbow bridge, as a lot of people call it, that their pets are still around them. They can still communicate with their pets. And so people sometimes really benefit from closure with the, an with the animals. <laughs> You're a ham. Here. She is a ham. Um, some t and uh, sometimes I work with behavior issues with the animals because even though they're quote-unquote misbehaving in our eyes, in their eyes what they're doing is perfectly natural. Or they're doing it for a reason. They're trying to get something across to their person that that is very important to them. And so I can be a facilitator and I always say, we sit down and have a three-way conversation. You know, me, the animal, and the animal's own, uh, owner, person. Yes. Okay. Um, now, obviously, I think Kiki's trying to say something. Is there something she wants to communicate? Yes. She, she's ready to go, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to you wanna get down, Kiki? Do you, do you have anything you want to say before you go? <laughs> yeah. Say, so, yes, I'm going to be very famous one day, if I'm not already. No, I think more people have taken the pictures of her than maybe Marilyn Monroe so far in the month that I've had her. She's on my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she is. Yeah. And that, that's the first thing that, that you said to me was that she needs a Facebook page. Yes. So we will be creating a Facebook page for Kiki. Yes. Just look under, I guess, Kiki Facebook or something. We'll, we'll get the name down. Kiki um, the Divine Spirit. Okay. <laughs> is, is there anything else that... Um, that she this is how she does it so if you want to see she just kind of listens to what your pet is saying and then kind of translates into human language so is there anything that you hear her saying besides biting she is you know what she is just so excited number one to be here because she loves people she absolutely adores meeting new people she loves being here because she loves the energy of it yeah. This is her second spiritual expo, by the way. Okay. And she she loves meeting new people. And she does. She looks at people, sometimes not as friends, but more as fans. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. So. yeah. Yes. My fan club. Yes. And I can't. <laughs> <tell>. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. And I think she'll be dictating a book to you before too long. Oh, good. Well, um, one, of the, one of the things that um, Gina said about biting, because I, I said she bites all the time, and she said, well, pay attention when she's biting because she's trying to get you to, you know, use your, your intuition and pay attention to what's going on. And, um, and today, yes, I'm paying attention. And um, today someone sat in front of me for a reading and she was just going crazy and biting me biting me biting me and I told her I said oh um, I guess I'm supposed to really pay attention to you because this is pretty big and so um, you know I was really focused on on this person in front of me and, and Kiki was going crazy and so uh, I did a reading and obviously it was a very um, earth kind of you know life changing reading for this 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 um, young young person because I I think I saved her 20 years of her life because she was going to be doing one path and, and I really helped her kind of make a major shift and, and as soon as we got to that Kiki just kind of relaxed fell asleep and you know it's like well Kiki are you happy and I did it I listened and she's like <laughs> yeah she got her point of course I mean almost not off my finger but she got her point across so <laughs> yeah you're a good girl yeah Anything else you want to say, Kiki? <laughs> okay. She's yes. going to be on camera for a lot of her life. She really likes it. <laughs> she is a ham, isn't she? Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, yes. All right. Okay. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. Boy, my goodness. Yeah. Lassie, come home. <laughs> Run 10 10 and, and uh, Kiki, Kiki, watch me. Watch me. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, now, can you be quiet? No. 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 All right. It's well, the Kiki Show. It's the Kiki Show. <laughs> I know. We thought we were going to do a nice interview with you, but it's the Kiki Show. Well, okay, so um, is there anything else you were saying in closing? Because I think we were. Right. No, you know, what I like people to know is that I don't think of animals as people in fur coats. What I think of animals as is another entirely different species that loves, that grieves, that cares in different ways than we do, that communicates in different ways than we do, but they're sentient beings. And so they deserve our respect and our honor, and that is what I'm here to share with people. Yes. Okay, so how are some ways that people can find you? You can find me at www.shamansspirit.net. Okay. And that's my website, and there are contact forms on there. It's my event page is on there, where I'll be. Um, I have uh, all of my services, and you can purchase services through PayPal, or I also accept personal checks. Okay. So and you travel around to different I events and give lot. discounted um, services at I these do. events. I do. Yeah, yours were you twenty dollars at this one, yes. so that's much cheaper than. Um, yes, then so it pays to come and find you. Yes. What's your next event then? My next event is I am doing a private um, animal communication class in Evansville, Indiana. And that's where you teach people how to communicate with their own animals, yes, with their own pets. Wow. And then I will be at Victory of Light in April. Okay. in Sharonville, Ohio. Okay, so that, that's a big one. That's yes, a big that event. Is a big one. Okay, and um, now you also, let's see, I'm just thinking here. You also have a Facebook page, right? I do. It's, uh, my business page is Shaman Spirit, Animal Communication. Okay. And um, you can find uh, this uh, video uh, also on my uh, website, www.infinitehuman.com. And we'll probably put it on her Facebook, and I'll put it on my Facebook, Infinite Human uh, Inc. And um, it'll, it'll be around. It'll be viral <laughs> everywhere. Absolutely. We'll see it. Yeah. So um, anything else that we should tell everybody? That's it. Just love and honor your animals in your life. Yeah, yeah. Whether they are physically here or they have passed on, they're still with you. Yeah, and and they come back to you sometimes, and right? They incarnate again in a different body to just to be with you again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you know, if you think you've lost them, hey, just wait five minutes and they'll come back around. <laughs> it can right? happen. It can happen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. You want to say anything, Kiki? Say bye. Thank <laughs> you.